And in this holy place this afternoon, this evening, thanking you for another day's journey. Yes, God. A day that we have never seen before, but we have been blessed by your Holy Spirit. Yes, God. Thank you for calling us out of darkness into your marvelous light. Thank you, God. Lord, thank you for this fellowship. Yes, your spirit, your Holy Spirit. Yes, God. Thank you for your guidance, your word that you left. Yeah. Oh, Master, thank you for your love that you have shown unto oh, this church. Yeah. Thank you, God. As we prepare to worship together yeah. in spirit and in truth to yeah. praise your holy name. Yeah. All right, all right. We pray that you will strengthen us where we weep, yeah. build us up where we torn down. Yes, yes, and Master, we need you right now. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray this prayer. Amen. Amen. It's time to go to the altar and pray. It's time to go to the altar and pray. My Lord, it's time to go to the altar and pray. Oh, it's time. Thanking you for your goodness 
and your kindness. You brought us another day's journey. And we come on the pleading terms of new mercy. Lord Jesus, you've been better to us than we've been unto ourselves. You brought us from last Sunday up until this present hour. Uh, you've been better to us than we've been unto ourselves. We come saying thank you for food on our tables. Thank you for putting a roof over our heads. Thank you for the strength in our bodies. Thank you, God. Oh, Lord. You brought us from a mighty, long way. We come praying tonight, Lord, in behalf of the names that have been called earlier. And those who have their hands where they're hurting. Yes, God, have mercy. Oh, Lord. Oh, please uh, have mercy tonight. In the name of Jesus. You said call. And you would answer. We call it on you tonight. In their behalf. Believing that you're going to hear and answer our prayer. You are a prayer answering God. Some of us have called on you in time past. And you have heard and answered our prayer. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh, Lord. Oh, please, so have mercy. Look upon these names that are on this prayer list. My master, you are everywhere at the same time. You oversee you in the air. Have mercy. Oh, Lord, some are in dire need of you. My master, you have heard our prayers. And we come saying thank you tonight. Oh, for past prayers answered. It. We believe right now that you're going to hear and answer our prayers. Now, Lord, look upon the boys and girls that are walking the street, don't know you, in the parts of their sins. Please, the Lord, have mercy. Turn them around before it's everlasting to them. Look upon this neighborhood in the name of Jesus. Of those who are walking by the church, let them know that their house is on fire. Look upon the, uh, the city of Oakland. We need you in the city of Oakland. We need you in this Bay Area. We need you, Lord, in uh, California. We need you, Lord, in America. We've gone so far away from you. We need you, Lord. Now, Lord, uh, Lord, have mercy. And then our life comes to the end. Uh, for us to stick our swords in the sand of time. To study war no more. Over yonder, where every day will be Sunday. No more heartaches, no more pain. Oh, where every day will be Sunday. Yeah, no more goodbyes, but every day is howdy, howdy. Hallelujah. Praise in your holy name. Your name has healing in it. Your name. We pray this prayer. Amen. Oh, with the saints, go marching in. Oh, with the saints, go marching in. Oh, Lord, I want to be in that number. Thank you, Jesus. We 
deserve our praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I see some of our young people don't know yet that he's good. I saw him looking down, but let me tell you, he'll learn that the Lord is good. All right. Uh, our announcer who's filling in for our secretary. Amen. He's doing a great job. Amen. All right. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Sunilo Evie, and I'm filling in for our her sister Carolyn Caldwell, our general secretary. We are praying for her as she is convalescing. Amen. What a beautiful, blessed evening that the Lord has blessed us to see. Yes. We hope that all who are sick and shut in will be able in the near future to join us in person in our worship services. Yes. yes. Our first selection is by the specials. Road is Rough, led by Sister Elaine Barfield. Our second selection is I Am Seeking for a City. Our third, My Hope is Built. Our fourth, I'm going to lay down my burden, led by Deacon Edward Smith. And our final selection is I've Got Everlasting Hope. Oh, Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The road is rough. The going gets tough. But I've got to make this journey with Jesus somehow. The road is rough. Say that, say that. Just go anytime. Yeah. 
go anyway. Yes. When you don't feel good, yes. that's the time to go. Right, right. Yeah, when the burdens are heavy, yes. you say, I'm a, I'll help you with your burden. Yes. Yeah, he yes. says he'll yes. never leave you, don't yes. forsake you. Yes. Cast all your cares on him, yes. or he cares for you. Yes. You gotta keep on talking. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he'll be there. Yes. He's a mind regulator. Yes. He'll yes. be there. Yes. He'll bring joy in your heart. He'll be there. You better not come when you want it, but he'll be there. His name is J E S U S. Jesus, he's a friend to the friend. Jesus. Hallelujah. He's God. All by himself. Yeah. You don't know. You don't need anybody else. But the Lord of God is called Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Keep on talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Our next selection by the choirs is I Am Seeking for a City. All right.
And Samuel said to Saul, Why have you disturbed me? To bring me up. And Saul answered, I am so distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God is departed from me. And answereth me not, answereth me no more. Neither by prophet or uh, prophets, nor by dreams. Therefore, I have called you that you may make known unto me what I shall do. In other words, what's going to happen? Then said Samuel, Wherefore then dost thou ask of me? Why are you asking me? Yeah. Seeing that the Lord is departed from you and is become your enemy. And the Lord hath done to him as he spake by me. For the Lord had, hath rent the kingdom out of your hand and given it to your neighbor, even to David. Yeah. Yeah. Hebrews, the second chapter, verses 1 through 3. Now, that was Sam, 1 Samuel, the 28th chapter, verse uh, 15 through 17. This is Hebrews now, uh, chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. Therefore, we ought to go to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. What we hear now is very precious. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense, mm -hmm. a reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. And the scripture that is, I forgot to tell her, where he talks about that he's a high priest. And he was tempted as we were. Right. And, but he is there to help us. Yeah. You may be seated. Gotcha. And let me retrospect now back to this very tedious but most important uh, message tonight how the Lord had left King Saul yes. and had become his enemy. When God leaves you, you are doomed. Yes. Now, let me go back and let's recap what had happened that caused this uh, the anger of the Lord to uh, just absolutely shut out King Saul, who had been anointed king because of 
people wanted a king. And the Lord told Samuel after he had cried all night. He told Samuel, the prophet, that Samuel, the people are not rejecting you. They are rejecting me from being their king. Give them what they want. So uh, they selected. They liked this tall man. Taller than everybody else. He was, had muscles, so to speak. And uh, he was a man that they all oh, they could look up to and so forth. So he, the Lord gave him the king that they wanted. Right, right. And so to fast forward everything, the Lord told Samuel, tell them what he's going to be like. Right. A man uh, that will take your land. Take your sons and daughters. Yes, Make them your servants. Right. Now, God didn't do that. No. But he said, the man that you select don't do yes, that. That's right. And we know the story how uh, the Philistines sent a giant out yes. to challenge Israel to a duel. Right, right. And the one who would win, uh -huh. uh, they would be uh, conquerors over them, and they, right. the ones who lost would be service to them. Right, right. So they sent out this uh, nine feet, six inch man uh -huh. named Goliath. Yes. Uh, he had armor on, and he was defying Israel. Send me out a man. Uh -huh. Fight me. He was bodacious. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was mocking uh, Israel. Mm -hmm. And this so happened. David had brought lunch to his brothers. While right. he was on. Everybody was hiding from him. Uh -huh. Even the king Saul was hiding. Right. And uh, David said, who is this right. talking bad against God's people? But you know the story, you know the story how David, uh, he tried on Saul's armor. He said, I can't, I can't use this. All right, all right. I, can't, I can't put on this shield and I can't wear this armor. I, I can't, I haven't used this. I haven't tested this out. Right. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I got to do. Right. So he took all that out. He went and got him five stones, yes. five rocks. And so the giant, he was there boasting. And, Can't you see him now? Mm -hmm. Everybody all around, just like a, a stadium. But it was on the land, all on the hills. It was all looking. Giant down there. Look at him. Look at him tall and boasting and, and cussing Israel and God. And his God is better than I. Uh, his God is better than the God of Israel. Listen, listen at him. Yeah. And David, there he is. Little, uh, little fella uh -huh. running toward him. About my height, five feet nine. <laughs> there he is running yeah, yeah. with a stone in him. And the joke said, you send a boy, a, a young nobody out to right. fight me. I'm a man of war. Right. Look at him, boasting. Yeah. Everybody listening. David running toward him. And he's looking at him. I can imagine he's looking him right in the eyes and saying, uh, you you boasting about your God, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. In other words, he take his sling with the rock in it. He a dead, dead eye. He talking about dead eye. Right between, right in the forehead. And you know what he did? You know what he did? He fell on his face. He didn't have a sword in his hand. He took his own sword. And cut his head off. Right, right. Now, 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 fast forward. Now, the Philistines are running now, and, mm -hmm. and they're running just uh, for their life now because 
the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob yes. was on the side of this young man. Amen. Look at him now. They run it now. They had a parade. Mm -hmm. And they riding along through the streets and the women are singing. Uh -huh. yeah. Saul killed his thousands. Right. Uh -huh. But David yeah. killed his ten thousands. Yeah. Saul looking around. Uh -huh. Well, did you hear what they say? Uh -huh. Right. Did you hear what these women are singing? Uh -huh. They talked about how I just only killed a thousand. Uh -huh. They have credited me with a thousand, yeah. but they credited David with ten thousand. Right. No, no, no. That, no, no. You know what took place? When a man is not called and he's not chosen. Jealousy comes into yes. his heart. Amen. See, when you're anointed to do a particular thing, uh -huh. don't you think there's not jealousy right. around you? Amen. I don't care who you are, where you work, right. because God has anointed you to do a certain job. Right. You have the mind and you have the ability to do it. Yes. And God has blessed you with power to do it. Don't you think there's not jealousy around right. you? King Saul, from that day on, sought to kill David. Yeah. Yeah. Right. To make a long story short, he was given an assignment. Mm -hmm. Yes. After messing up his first assignment, yeah. he messed up his first assignment with God. Yeah. Yes. And. Because he didn't wait for Samuel mm -hmm. to come and give him orders. Right. He took it upon himself. Right. Right. Fear will make you do crazy things. Amen. That's why you got to have uh, uh, godly leadership. Amen. When you have man-made leadership, uh -huh. they will lead you and mislead you in the wrong way. Right. Right. The Bible says without a vision of people perish. Yes. Man-made leadership don't have vision right. from above. Amen. They got vision, yeah. but not from the Lord. Right. So we find we find him taking knee forward and, and doing what the uh, priest should do, and here comes Samuel. Mm. What are you doing? Right. You you uh, building an altar and you calling? You're not supposed to be doing that with knee forward. Right. Well. You, you didn't come when you said you were going to come. That's not the point. Right. That's not the point. You did what you weren't supposed to do. Right. Oh, my Lord, my Lord. The Lord gave orders through Samuel. Now, I want you to go to Amalekites, the Amalekites, wipe them out. Yeah. Because they mistreated Israel, my people. Right. They, they, they really rose up against them when they were coming across and around uh, through the land and they mistreated them. Right. I want you to wipe them out. Children, yeah. women, yeah. cattle, uh -huh. sheep, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. There they go. There he goes. You're not listening. You're not listening. Mm -hmm. You're not listening to what's going on. Uh -huh. You're not, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. How he went. I'm talking about Saul. Yes. He went on this mission. Yes. God gave him this mission. Yes. It's like God tell me to tell you to stand on the door. Uh -huh. right. And uh, you're to be the usher. Uh -huh. And you're to usher people in. Be on time. Right. But you come late. Uh -huh. right. you, you sit down. Uh -huh. And don't do nothing. But the Lord have led me to tell you. Right. The Lord have told me to tell you to sing in the choir. Right. And I said, I want you to lead this song. I can't lead this song. Uh -huh. There he is. On the battlefield. He wipes out everything that was not good. Yeah. He wiped out the, uh, the village and so forth. But he bring back what looked good. Right, right. And what was good. Mm -hmm. right. He even brought back.
like the one he should have killed first. Yeah. Right. The king, Agai. Yeah, yeah. And here comes Samuel. <laughs> oh, Lord. Saul, King Saul, what have you done today? Uh -huh. Well, I did what the Lord told me to do. Yeah. Well, what is this I hear bleeping in my yeah. ears? Yeah. What is this I hear? What, what, what is this? Well, well, well uh, I brought back the sheep and the lambs so we can have a sacrifice. What have you done? You've done something that God didn't even want you to do. You disobeyed. Stubbornness, you were stubborn. Because you heard the people, you listened to the people, and you didn't do what the Lord told you to do. Being stubborn is as witchcraft. Right. The Lord, he, he don't like that. He, no. he's, he's just done now. Yeah. And as Samuel was turning to go, Saul reached up and tore his mantle. Yeah. Samuel, I can imagine him looking back and saying, the kingdom the Lord has ripped the kingdom, mm -hmm. has torn the kingdom from your hands and have given it to your neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Can you imagine the Lord leaving you? Mm -hmm. mercy. Can you imagine the Lord not answering your prayers? Can you imagine nobody Remember my late pastor telling one young lady. Do you remember that? About darkness. There he was. The evil spirit would come upon him and David would come and play. It got so bad until he was chasing David so much. He had 3,000 men trying to kill David. Uh -huh. Until David just left and got out of the country. Yeah. Yeah. And he stopped following him. Mm -hmm. But something happened. Mm -hmm. He came to a point where God would not answer him. Yeah. God would not use a prophet or prophets to answer him. You remember he went among the prophets and began to prophesy. He stripped his clothes off and began to prophesy, but no prophet had a word for him. God didn't put a word in their mouth for him. The Lord didn't even give him a dream. It, it must have been nightmares. So fast forward it now. He goes to what God condemns, mm -hmm. yeah. a witch, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to get an answer. Mm -hmm. He goes to the devil's woman mm -hmm. to get an answer what's going to happen next in his life. And he disguises himself because he had already put the witches away. Yeah. And he goes in and says, I want you to bring up somebody who I want you to bring up. Mm -hmm. And she said, well, King Saul has already uh, put us away. And you can't let him know that I'm doing this, so to speak. Right. And then when she brought up through her divinations. Uh, yeah. The Lord allowed this to happen now. Right. Right. Yeah. now don't, let, don't think God didn't allow Samuel right. to come back. Right. The Lord allowed Samuel uh -huh. yeah. after he had died to come back. That's right. mm -hmm. yeah. She said, uh, as she was saying, I see God's coming up from the grave. She said, Who is he? he said, it must be Samuel. 
And Samuel, when he came, and the woman screamed out, Oh, you saw, don't kill me. He said, I'm not going to kill you. That's all right. I'm not going to kill you. Mm -hmm. Samuel began to say, This is where our lesson is now. Right. Samuel says, Why have you disturbed me right. from my rest? Uh -huh. Why do you bring me back? Right. Well, I, the Lord. Don't answer me. The Lord has departed from me. I can't use a prophet. I can't, I can't have any dreams. I, I don't know what to do. Samuel said, why have you disturbed me? Seeing that the Lord have left you. He departed from you. And he's become your enemies. Your enemy. Causes the Holy Spirit to leave you. Amen. When you purposely disobey, right. the Spirit of the Lord leave you. That's dangerous. Amen. That's dangerous for you to know God's will. Yes. Not to go to a strip club. Right. Not to go to drinking and dancing, Christian. some places where I wasn't supposed to be is dangerous. Amen. Yes. Amen. The Holy oh, Spirit will. But one thing about it. Thank God. And we can thank him all here. Yes. He didn't leave us. Amen. You know why? You better thank God for Jesus. Amen. Amen. For interceding for us. He yes. sits on the right hand of God, pleading for us every day. Amen. You better thank God Amen. when we were disobedient. Yes. yes. Have mercy. Good God Almighty. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. But he left Saul. Yes. And became his enemy. Yes. And Samuel, before he went back, said, This time tomorrow you'll be with me. Whereas you'll be dead. Yes. And your sons. Yes. Yes. Children of God. God. Thank God for Jesus for his mercy. Amen. There's some things I understand what my late pastor would say. There's some things you could do, but I can't get away with. All right. All right. All right. And right now, there's some things I can't get away with. Yes. The Lord told me to preach or die. Yes. There's no in between there. No. And you know I love what I'm doing. Amen. For Jesus' sake. Amen. I preach Jesus yes. because he's the only hope yes. for our soul. Amen. He saved my soul. He saved He has been with me all my life. And I don't want to, let me just, that personalize this. I don't want to do anything yes. to cause me to uh, lose Jesus. Amen. Yes. The Spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And children of God, yes. you don't want to do anything yes. for the Holy Ghost to lead you. You'll be just as dead as a doenail. Yeah. I've heard my late pastor say, the Lord fired that preacher. Oh, he said, I believe the Lord fired that preacher. Oh, my. Have mercy. Oh, my Lord. My There's no hiring back. No. Stay with the Lord. Yeah. But the greatest I heard uh, in, the, in the Baptist Training Union, uh, skip tonight. Uh, sit up, stand 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 up. I heard tonight about obedience. Yes. Yes. 
When you obedient, uh -huh. yes. God will bless you. Amen. When you obedient, yes. you will live right. Amen. When you obedient, you can hear, feel the Holy Spirit. Yes. You feel joy. Yes. But when you don't uh, be obedient, uh -huh. you'll be like David. You, you, you won't feel the Spirit of the Lord. Yes. But you got to go back. Thank God for Jesus. You can go back in the name of Jesus. He will be there to be our advocate. Yes, he will. He's there pleading on the right hand of the Father. It's our propitiation. Yeah, he, he's there to, to go in our behalf. Because he died for us. Yes, he did. He died on Calvary. But he rose on the third day for our justification. Thank God for Jesus. Yeah. We got another chance. Yeah. It's called grace. Yeah. Mercy. Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah. Have you gone to him? Yeah. When you were disobedient. Yeah. Have you got forgiveness? Yeah. Well, you'll be forgiven in his name. Yeah. Not your name, but his name. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. I will trust in Tell them I love you and don't lie. Tell the truth. 